water lily we just pulled out. Um, we're co just coming into the spring, so these lilies are still alive and vibrant, but they're dormant. They don't have any leaves up to the surface. We're going to replant these for the springtime. Um, we're going to give them new soil and fertilizer. So what you want to do is you want to pick out the best uh, main plants. This, this one's one of the largest here. I'm going to come back about four to five inches, and I'm going to cut down, cut through the rhizome, and cut a nice big softball size root ball around this. You don't want to cut or damage the crown at all. You want to be careful to go around that. And um, you want to cut around this nice and deep. So now you've got a nice good root mass around this and this will be replanted uh, in a new tray with new soil. We're going to reposition it so it's growing in this direction across the length of the tray. In another year, a year and a half, it'll be out here growing all the way across and needing replanting, ready for replanting. We're going to save this. We're going to put it into a bag and keep this variety that's from this one tray in this bag. I'm going to save two for this. Uh, so I'm going to put these two plants in here ready for replanting. We're going to put them into the cooler so that they don't dry out. And we'll uh, keep these ready for a replanting. So now we're going to save the anacris. Come in here where it's rooted. You want to pull it out at the base. Get a little bit of root on here and you have it all in one direction. Kind of try to keep this roughly in one direction for replanting ease. And pulling it up by the roots. So you can see that there's a real long piece here. Just keep it all in one direction. So roughly we have all this in one direction. You're going to want to save this for replanting. Lay it in your container, cooler, in one direction so that it's easy to grab and replant.